Um, next, our speaker is going to be Dr. Crespo. I'm going to turn it over to you, Carlos, to give your reflections on today's workshop. Thank you. Uh, so it's, I, I was trying to think about the conversation that we had today, and we had great speakers uh, from early until uh, until the end. Uh, on my specific section, we were looking at worksite and, and healthcare. <clears throat> and these are specific spaces where we spend a, a large part of, of our, of our uh, awake de- uh, life uh, at work. And then uh, the experiences that we have when we interact with the healthcare system and how waste stigma, it, it has a short term effects, but it actually has a, a long term effects on people's life. And it's not just a health uh, impact, it's also in way, in, in wages, in how much uh, acquisition of wealth we have in the long term. And that's, that was some of these things, unless you measure, you probably wouldn't know. So the fact that uh, we, we are having evidence that this, this actually happens, everything being equal, uh, this shouldn't be the case. And there are other populations who experience a similar circumstances. And it has a compounding effect. Uh, it has compounding effect uh, on health. Uh, in, in epidemiology, we like to look at exposures and outcomes. But this determinants of obesity, uh, they're sociopolitical. They're not so much uh, at, at the physiological or biological level. These are, uh, these are community problems. I was thinking like our, our major health problems uh, smoking, uh, substance abuse, gun violence, injuries, obesity. These are not exactly medical problems. These are community-based problems. We try to solve them in the emergency room, uh, the clinical setting, but the, the clinical setting has a very narrow scope. It's, it's a one-on-one approach. And this uh, root causes of obesity it's too late. And it brings me back to the earlier uh, presentation from Dr. Kamara Jones about the things that where we're working now, it's way at the bottom. We just have the ambulance, a very expensive ambulance. And some ambulances are really shiny and some ambulances have <laughs> flat tires. Uh, but that's where we're spending our money. And it's probably, and we have shown internationally, we know that by far the United States spends the most amount of money in healthcare. And yet we still have these disparities. It also highlights the fact that this uh, obesity then becomes an exposure that increases the risk for uh, chronic conditions, increases the risk for heart disease and, and other things. But one of the things we're seeing now is that we're dealing with COVID-19, which is a communicable disease. In the past, we had the luxury of ignoring the impact of obesity at the uh, community level because it actually impacted a few group of of people that were not directly related to us. Now with a communicable disease, we realize that we're all in this together. I mean, we're not going to back to our restaurants. We're not going to go back to work. We're not going to open the school unless we take care of COVID-19. And now we need to start thinking about as a community, as a society, how we have ignored these social and political determinants of, of health. Uh, I, 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 I enjoy the conversation about uh, policies because a lot of these things are happening, not so much because an individual decided to, uh, to have a condition. I don't think no one wakes up in the morning and says, today I wanna be sick, to wait, I want my children to be sick. That doesn't happen. People want to be healthy. People want to live in a healthy environment. So it's not so much the individual making decisions. I think there are institutional policies. There are structural barriers that impact some groups more than others in terms of how they can deal with the environment to live a healthier, a healthier life. Uh, I, 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 had a, 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 I was really excited to hear the conversations about education policy and about housing policy. And I know there's other other policies that uh, have gotten us to where where we are today. 